what's going on guys got the uh, tractor in the garage here and I know I know start the video before you start working I wasn't really planning on doing a video on this but it's turned out to be a huge pain in my butt so I figured I'd go ahead and show you what I got going on so as you can see I got the uh, head off the tractor right here on my workbench and this is a Massey Ferguson TO35 gas uh, gas engine tractor and really i pulled the head off to do a head gasket but the valves were sleeping by pretty bad so i'm going to pull the valves and lap them in and polish them up real good and uh just try to take care of that but what i wanted to show was this harbor freight valve spring compressor and kind of give you a kind of representation of the quality you get out of the box it's you know not really that great of a tool but uh as you can see i've actually already got a hose clamp set up right here and that's how I had to get these first two out. These two I was able to use um, after modifying the tool just a little bit. So on this tool, it kind of breaks down into two sections. You've got the teeth down here that actually grab the spring, and then you've got the teeth right here that um, mash down on the top of the retainer so you can get the clips out with a magnet. And if you notice, it's really kind of hard to tell, but these have just a slot bend inwards so that it hooks onto the bottom of the spring and as it compresses pulls it up like that so that that um angle on there what little bit is there wasn't there when i got the tool um, i had to kind of install that myself these were right out of the box were flat and anytime you'd put pressure on them, they'd just basically spring out like that right there and come off the spring but to make it short and sweet basically all i did was take this tool kind of flip it up upside down like that and rested this edge it's gonna be hard to see because the light in here is terrible but this edge on the edge of my um edge of my vice like that right there and took a hammer and kind of tapped it just like that until i got it rolled over just a little bit and you can actually see on this one it bent a little bit right here that's okay it doesn't really affect the performance any but more or less just kind of tap it until you get those bent over into more of a hook sh hook shape same thing just flip it over to do the other side rest that right on the edge of your vise or something hard like a sturdy table or whatever and then just tap it right there all right so we'll go through this next valve real step by step and i'll kind of show you what i got going on First thing is I'm taking a socket. This is like a 15 16 and you just want it to be smaller than the valve, or I guess it don't really matter. Something about the size of the valve. And you want to have this thing so that when you lay your cylinder head down, the weight of the head is actually on the socket and therefore on the valve. And that keeps your valve pushed up so you can get your retainers out. So I just got that socket under there just like that. And then uh, we'll go ahead and set the tool up right here okay so it's going to be a stretch for you guys to see it but this valve has a retainer that is a pin style so it goes straight through like that and once we compress it we'll take the magnet and just pull that pin straight out so when we set this thing up we need to make sure that these teeth aren't blocking that pin from coming out uh, you'll kind of see how I reach in there with a the magnet and pull it out once I get it set up all right so i don't think it matters which side the long side and the short side goes on you notice they're kind of offset to clear the uh, to kind of work with the angle of that spring there so you basically just want to clip those in there and then pinch them right here at the bottom with your fingers and you want to be careful that you don't get your fingers anywhere where they're going to get pinched i'm just holding right on the outside of this and then you want to start tightening this knob down you'll notice these teeth right here basically come down you want them to rest on the top of this um, retainer or what, whatever this is called on the valve legs in there pinching them right here at the bottom and just turning this crank handle on top to mash it down and you'll want to hold you know pretty decent pressure holding that in there into that once you start once the spring starts compressing you know you can mash down on the top and 
to get that pin clear. So now that I have that compressed down, I can reach in here. Actually, I'll reach in from this side just to show you. This retainer is just a little pin just like that. And that's where I was talking about you don't want to block that with the tool, uh, you know, and make it so that you couldn't get that out. So now we're just going to be very careful because this spring has a lot of freaking pressure on it. So we're just going to very carefully loosen this top screw again until all the pressure is off. And then just like that. This retainer is a little bit different style. Um, this one has two C-shaped pieces in there. So there's a split right here, and then there's a split 180 degrees out. This C has to come out this direction, and this one has to come out this direction. So whenever we set our puller up on here, we're gonna make sure that our teeth, you know, are, are facing this direction. That way we can reach in from either side with our magnet and fish those things out. So you'll see that once I get it set up. So another thing while you're at Harbor Freight getting your valve tool, pick you up one of these little magnetic uh, telescoping doohickeys. Really, really is just the right tool to get these retainers out. So that's what I was saying, it's like a C-shape basically retainer. So yeah, for uh, 959 for the spring compressor and then 299 for the little magnet telescoping deal, you know, $12 I was able to pull all the valves on this thing and I'll have the tool for the next time I need it. You know, most Harbor Freight tools are, you know, they're fine tools. They just need a little fine tuning. And on this one in particular, it was just bending these ears over so they had a little bit more of a hook. And I know these tools are nothing new and there's probably a lot of old timers that uh, you know could pull these valves blindfolded with one hand tied behind their back and I just wanted to kind of throw a quick video together so if there's any young guys like me or you know this is the first set of valves I've ever done and I wasn't all that confident going into it but you know pretty much nothing to it but to do it right just get out there grab the tool and gave it a shot so maybe this will help somebody out thanks for watching uh you know all the normal stuff give it a thumbs up if it helped you out if you got any other questions about the tractor anything you want to see while i got this head off go ahead and drop a comment down below uh, i probably won't do many tractor videos but if you're into that kind of thing hit that subscribe button and i'll see you on the next one